Warning, the content of the video that you are about to watch pertains to the harvest of fur-bearing wildlife through the practice of ethical, sound wildlife management of modern-day trapping. If this bothers you, if it triggers you in any way, shape, or form, please leave this channel now. Hey trappers, Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. Uh, guys, what I got for you today, it's it's not anything earth shattering and it doesn't amount to much, but here we are in mid-September and it is time to start getting some of our artificial cat toilets going. Um, we're on a we're on a really good old old dirt road here. We've got a crop field here that's standing corn. We've got big solid timber back here behind us. This is a prime cat location. This is a prime place to put in an artificial toilet. But before we get started on that, I want to let y'all know that I will be in Macon, Missouri this weekend, this coming weekend, September, what is it, 19th and 20th, I think it is, uh, for their annual convention. So if you get a chance, come on by and at the Macon Fairgrounds or Macon County Fairgrounds, uh, come stop by and see us. So let's flip things around here and get started at this. All right, guys, there isn't anything to this. What we you, you saw the location we're on. We, we know we're on a, a good dirt road here. We've got plenty of hook cover here. We've got plenty of habitat for bobcats. So all I've done is got my poor old mother to save the cleanings out of her cat boxes. She's got about 47 cats, which is almost 48. So she's got plenty of, uh, plenty of uh, opportunity here for her. All we do... Just come to a catty looking location, take that old cat litter, that old used litter, and just dump it out right here alongside the road. Now that is all there is to it. Kind of scatter it out a little bit. Let me show you what we've done there. We've kicked it out right there. Uh, right here at this at this location now any bobcats that come through here are sure enough going to stop and investigate that um, and then when it comes time to put our sets in we're right i let me let me move this camera guys all right so we kick the cat litter out right there so when it comes time to come in and put our sets in we're right there in the two track we know you know we've got them narrowed down to there anyway so it's not going to be hard. It's not going to be anything difficult to put our set in. We've already got them traveling right here on the road. So it's just the idea of putting the set in. And you can poke in dirt holes. You can put in flat sets, just anything you want. You can move up or down the trail and catch them ahead of time before they get here. Uh, there's a whole different, whole bunch of different ways you can do this. Like I said, this isn't anything earth shattering. It's just... Just time to get it done. Okay, so if you wanted to, you could every so often come in and freshen that up with a little good cat urine. You could also just add more litter to it, you know, more used litter that else already has plenty of, of, of cat urine and, uh, and, and feces smell there, you know. So it's, you know, that's all you would have to do to keep it fresh and keep it active. But the cats themselves should do that for you. You shouldn't have to do anything more to it than that. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you all for tuning in to watch. And, and if you would, please just hit that thumbs up for me. That's all I'm asking. Uh, once again, this is Dale Billingsley with another one. Signing out.